what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is put up some posters mm -hmm. that celebrate some of your movie memories to decorate it. And the first poster we're putting up depicts your fondest movie memory. You know what, this is a recent one, but um, this movie genuinely like changed my life, which is Scorsese's The Irishman. Okay. Which I saw, I didn't see it on Netflix, I saw it in the cinema. Ah. And... Um, and it just like it, it was just it was just before just before the pandemic hit and, and you know everyone's lives changed but this movie really did change my life i'd just been working on the, probably the worst job of my entire life just this kind of awful tv show where i was surrounded by all these just surrounded by people who didn't have my best interest at heart and all these people that weren't my friends and then that movie is so much about you know if you live your life on other people's terms where do you end up and you know the the, the ending of that movie and how um isolated he ends up being at the, at the end that final that final scene where he has to ask the nurse to leave the door open it made me it made me it made me kind of reconsider what i wanted to do with my life you know and it, it, it it's a movie about it's a movie about it's a movie about who your real friends are and how infrequently real friends come about in your life and you know i've been doing i've been doing kind of like jobbing tv work for the last few years and it was kind of like it kind of resembled what i wanted to do as a kid when i started getting into movies but it wasn't it and it wasn't feeling creative anymore um and i was about to come to another tv show and then fortunately the world ended and we all got locked in indoors and uh and then i made host which was a movie made completely with people i loved in this amazing creative space um and it just completely rewired my rewired my brain and made me think that's the that, that's the thing I've got to follow. I've got to work with people who make me feel that kind of like electric buzz of, of creativity. I've got to work with people who I want to, you know, my life's ticking away, I've got to spend it with the right people and making things that I'm proud of. And that's that, that, what what sounds fantastic to go back to what you were saying earlier. Like this is your first studio movie, so it's the first movie that you know you have s uh, someone looking over your shoulder. Mm. Um, I'm assuming everything went well, and you, you brought it in under budget and or on budget at least. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean I, I was fully expecting. I was spoiling for a fight. You know, I was I was thought I was going to have to like fight tooth and claw for everything, but it was like everyone, the studio, the producers. It was a whole new team of people. The only person I was able to bring on from my normal UK team was my composer Patrick Johnson, um, and everyone was was brilliant. They're my they're my team now. You know, every movie I make in America, I want to, I want this same team. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. And how good that you saw the Irishman in the cinema as well, because That's amazing. Like so many people, again, it's just a different experience um, yeah. on the small screen. And a movie like that, you know, it could have, I know it's four hours or whatever it was, but it could have gone on and on for me. And on Netflix, I would have got distracted. I would have gone on Twitter, but, but like, it was, uh, yeah, I was a captive audience. Started watching that 11 a.m. <laughs> at the same time. It's, um, I think it's the.